Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Emma's Lifestyle and welcome to today's video. So as you have probably seen from the thumbnail and the title, today is a Primark haul. So I like to go about once a month and um, do a film a Primark haul for you because I love it there and I know a lot of you really like Primark, so as do I. So I've picked up two bags of things to share with you in today's video. So I'm just going to crack straight on and get into the haul. So no particular order. So the first thing I bought are for me, and it is this three pack of wireless lounge bra. So I thought these look really nice. I can't get on with wireless anymore. I like a comfy bra. <laughs> I like a comfy brassiere. Uh, so yeah, I picked up this pack of three. Now, does it say how much they were? They'd have been about £10. There isn't a price tag on it for some reason. I don't know where that's gone. Oh, it is. It's here. I lie. Let me have a look. Oh, what's that say? Oh, no, it hasn't. It's got the price took off of it. Anyway, pack of three bras. A black one, like a nude coloured one, and a white one. I wanted the seam-free push-up bras. And they did have them, but they only had them in... I don't know what colours, unusual colours, and I just wanted the basic colours. Um, so I picked these up instead. I just thought they looked really comfy. Um, no wire, obviously, and I just thought they looked really nice. And yeah, let me have a look from every seat and see if I can find the price. So I'm hoping I'm going to like them because, like I say, oh, I like a bit of comfort nowadays. So let me see, where are they? Uh... No, I can't find it on that one. Where's my other receipt? This is two shops worth, you see. I went and then um, I went again. <laughs> so I've got two receipts. I'm just trying to find which receipt everything is on. So the pack of bras were £12. So, I mean, it's not bad, is it? £4 a bra. So hopefully I will get on all right with those. Then I picked up some um, SPF. So this was £5, um, but it can be really expensive, can't it? I don't suppose that's particularly cheap, um, but I picked up a, uh, it says Sun Protect, Protect and Moisturise Clear Spray Enriched with Coconut Water, SPF 30 High Protection. Um, so yeah, pick that up, 150 ml in there, fast and even coverage, water resistant. I do like a spray. Um, creams, I just think, they're a lot more bothered to put on and I can't be doing with them when they're sticky and the kids are a bit funny about um, sticky. Well, we all are. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'd rather have a spray. So, I picked that up, £5, ready for our holes. And then picked these up for my son. So, obviously, these were out of the men's section and they are these beautiful floral shorts. Uh, Bermuda relaxed shorts in a medium. There was only £12, which isn't a bad price. Really nice, jazzy pattern on. The background colour is like a grey, as you can see. They've got pockets at the side. The tie-in waist, which does actually pull in. And then they've got um, one pocket on the back. So my son loves jazzy things, um, florally, bright colours, anything like that. And um, I saw these and he wasn't with me, but I sent him a photograph while I was in the shop because I thought, I think he'll like them, but I'm not sure. So I sent him a photograph. Luckily, he replied back while I was still in the shop and said, oh, yes, please. Can you pick them me up? So picked those up for Harvey. Then I picked up an after sun spray. This was £3.50. It says Soothe and Hydrate After Sun Spray with Aloe Vera. 24 hour moisturisation, non greasy. So again, another spray. Like I say, you know, I've not ha ever had an after, after sun spray actually. I've had the suntan lotions, but I don't think I've ever had an after sun that's a spray. Usually a cream. So I was, uh, yeah, pleased to pick that up. £3.50. Again, put it away for our holiday. I picked up one of these for Harvey as well. I picked him this up because it was in the sale. It should have been £4 and it was reduced to £2. So it was half price. And he's had this before and I know he liked it. It's out of the Chem range. So the Chem Ketone, he has clothing range in there, doesn't he? And then he has quite a lot of like toiletry bits, hair bits. Um, and this is the texturizing sea salt spray. Sp 
spray, uh, what does it say? Adds thickness and texture for a natural, messy look. So pick that up for two pounds. And they had loads of this chem uh, hair products in the sale, loads of gel, um, hairspray, but this was the only thing that my um, son uses. So I picked him that up. He didn't want any of the other stuff. Um, anything that's mine, I will try on as, al as always. So, um, you can see what it looks like on because I do like to see things on people. So I always do try things on if they are for me, if they are for me. So the next thing, this is for me. So I shall try this on for you. It is this vest top. It's, I got it in a medium and it was five pounds and it's sort of a cream colour, just a slightly, um, creamy colour obviously it's not white it's creased up so it doesn't look great uh obviously from being in the bag i just think it's got a little bit of a dirty mark on there it's got foundation on or something oh I don't hate it when that happens um but i think it'll come off um so yeah pick that up so like i say let's try it on it has got um a slight rib in it just a very very fine one um because I do like things um, ribbed, ribbed vest tops rather than uh, just plain. So let's try that one on. I don't like this. Um, I don't like how it fits here. Um, obviously, you can see all this bit here. I mean, even if I wore a different bra, I would want to wear a bra. Um, I don't want to not wear a bra. So whatever sort of bra you wear, even if it's strapless, you're still going to see all this. I don't think I like this style where it goes in too much here. I think I'd rather it just be ordinary like that. So, yeah, I think this one's going back just because I don't like the fit. I can, it's gaping there. Can you see? But then look how much of the bra you can see when you pull it down. It's not a good look. <laughs> so next I picked up this little sarong. So they had lots of different sarongs. I know they had a bright pink one. I think they had a bl plain black one. They had this one and they did have some others. So I picked this one up because I'll show you the swimming costume that I picked up and I thought it would go with that. So it's just one of the little sarongs. So I won't try this on because you know what it is. Just a little skirt. Um, short obviously just for putting over your bikini or your swimming costume uh going to the beach or the pool or whatever i'm just trying to it's all come undone but you know what it is anyway the little sarong and they all are just one size because obviously you can tie it as tight as you need to and it was only four pounds so i just thought for four pounds it's just a fab little cover-up so as you can see it's got this paisley pattern on and this would go with lots of different colors obviously you could pick out anything that's in um, any of these shades here and if your bikini or your swimming costume is in any of them you know and your swimming costume's quite plainish this will look i think um great so you could pick out lots of different colors in that so i picked it out because the swimming costume i picked up is this blue color so i'll show you that next I might try this on actually with the swimming costume when I when I try that on. I haven't tried anything on yet. I'm filming this bit first, so every I don't know what anything fits like yet. <laughs> so this is the oh, I said swimming costume. It's a bikini. I couldn't remember whether I bought a bikini or a swimming costume. Oh, brain fog again. I picked this up because it was really cheap and I really liked the colour. And it's exactly the same colour as the blue as the blue in the sarong. So I picked up, there was individual, so you can have different sizes, tops and bottoms if you want. So I picked the bottoms up in a medium. There was only four pounds and they are high waisted. Um, I like a high waist. I'm hoping they don't come too much, you know, too high leg. I'll have to try them on and see. But those are the bikini bottoms for four pound. And then the bikini top, I got this in a medium actually as well. Um, let me just sort it out so I can show it you properly. Don't know how much this was. Let me have a look. Five pounds for the bikini top. And it's just very plain, obviously exactly the same color. It's just got the clasp at the back. It's got the adjustable straps, which I love. And hopefully this will be fairly-ish flattering, you know, 
I don't know. I'll see. Um, I haven't worn bikinis for a while. Um, I always have swimming costumes. And I thought, you know what? If I want to wear a bikini on holiday, then I will do. So I'm going to give it a whirl. I might, not, <laughs> I might change my mind once I've tried it on, but let's put it on and see. So the bikini and the sarong. Let me angle you down. So this is a bikini top. And then the bottoms come sort of relatively high up and they're not too high waisted. And then the little sarong um, tied at the waist, obviously. So, I mean, for on holiday, I think, um, yeah, I mean, I think I'll look all right. For the price of the outfit, I think really, I suppose I may as well keep it. I mean, what was it? Four, was it five, four, four. So, um, you know, it's not a lot of money to pay, is it? It's an extra. Um, well, obviously, this is a bikini, but like I say, I usually buy swimming costumes, but it's just an extra, you know, um, swimwear <laughs> to uh, to put on. So I do like the colour. Um, I really do like this dark sort of, well, I don't know, royal blue. I don't know what colour. It's not royal blue, is it? Um, dark blue colour. So I think, <laughs> I think these are a keeper. So the next thing I picked up was for me. <laughs> I went shopping on my own, you see. So <laughs> it was just all about me, really. Um, so, yeah, I picked up this. Again, I don't know how I'm going to get on with this. I picked it up in a medium. It was £7. And it's this one shoulder. Again, cream. Uh, similar colour to the last vest top. This has got a slightly thicker rib. It's slightly thicker material. And I just thought... Something a little bit different with the one shoulder. Um, yeah, plain. So it would go with anything, any denim shorts, any pattern shorts or whatever. So, yeah, pick that up. So I'm, I'm hoping that looks OK. So I think this top's OK. I've got a white strapless bra on, which obviously you can see it. Um, I think if I bought a nude, um, I've got a nude strapless bra. If I wore it with that, I think I could probably get away with it. Um, yeah, don't know. What do you think? On to the next bag. So the first thing I've got in here oh, is this. This was £3.50 and it's anti-humidity finishing spray. Now, my hair, you can probably see on my videos, is quite frizzy. It's naturally got a little bit of a kink in it. It's not naturally dead straight. I have to straighten it. As you can see, it's, yeah, it's a bit, got a bit of frizz in it. On holiday, it's a nightmare. Um, yeah, I, that's why I mostly have it up on holiday. But I thought, I saw this and they've got loads of like summery lip glosses, lip balms, lip scrubs, loads of like summery, hair and makeup a bits if you know what i mean so this was with all that and it says hold on i might have to go and get my glasses let me hold, hold it at hold it at arm's length and see if i can read it it's 100 mil and it says formulated to smooth and reduce fly away hairs while conditioning and adding shine oh hold on to, re oh, to reveal healthier looking hair. So I don't know whether it'll work, but I thought I will give it a whirl for £3.50. Next, I picked up two tops. I think I picked them up in different sizes, didn't I? Yeah, I picked up a small and a medium. They're exactly the same top, so I'll just show you one of them. And they are this beige, just a ribbed beige vest top five pounds and i picked up uh, the vest top this is a small i picked up this vest top to hopefully go with some shorts that i've picked up but we'll see but that's the vest top and it's ribbed again because i prefer the ribbed ones like i say and these are the shorts so i'll try them on together if i can get my ass in these i got them in a 12 now there's no giving them but I, well we'll see I was going to say they look like they're big, big enough, but I might regret saying that when I can't fasten them, but we'll see. So I'll try the top on with them. So like I say, I bought that top because it matches the stripe on these shorts. I really hope these shorts fit me and I like them because I just think they are so nice 
12, like I say, size 12, and they were £12. And I love the fact that they've got pockets, um, belt loops, so you could tuck some uh, top in, tuck those vest tops in. You could wear a belt if you wanted to, but obviously you don't have to. Hopefully they're not short, short. And I just think for evening, on holiday, going out for our evening meal, I just thought with this top, I really hope I like this outfit, um, with that top, Look at the colour match, it's exactly the same colour as the stripe and yeah, I just thought with a little pair of wedges, um, cream wedges or flip-flop sandals, um, yeah, it'll make a really nice outfit. So fingers crossed I'm going to like these. Now I'm not sure about this outfit, this is the medium top um, which doesn't fit me as well round here, it's too gapy, um, so I think it would have to be the small. Um, I don't know, it's very see-through as well again. Why is everything so see-through? Why can't they make things a bit, a bit thicker? I mean, I couldn't have it any bigger so it wasn't as tight around my boobs. To gape even more there. Um, and the shorts, mm, they're a little bit tight. Let me angle you down so you can see. Excuse all my clothes over there. Um, yeah, so these are the shorts. Now, I like these. Like I said earlier, I really like them, but they are a little bit tight around the waist. Um, so I'm really not sure. Let me show you around so you can see. I've angled you down too much now, haven't I? Um, very tight around the bum. So I think I would have to get these in the next size up, um, but I do like them. There's no stretch in them, you see. So it's me, it's me big bum, I think, that, uh, <laughs> that gets in the way. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, let me know what you think. And then last but not least, I've only got one thing left to show you. I picked up some leggings, some good old Primarni leggings. I got these in a size small. They're only £3.50 and I picked up the three quarter length ones. Obviously, do, they do the cycling short ones, they do the, do the full length ones. But I picked up the um, three quarter length ones because um, I just thought when it, well, when it gets a bit warmer... It's just nicer to wear them um, around the house rather than jogging bottoms or full length leggings. Um, and then for taking Bentley as well, I can wear these with trainers and just t-shirt, baggy t-shirt. And I like the fact if I come in close, they've got like quite a deep waistband, which I thought just made them look that bit, bit better quality, really. I mean, they feel nice. I've had Primark leggings before. I've got Primark leggings on at the minute. And they always seem all right. I mean, for the money, for £3.50, you can't go wrong, really, can you? So I may as well try these on for you as well, if I can get in them. I don't know whether I was risking it a bit with a small, so these might be going back, but let's have a go. <laughs> so last but not least, the leggings. Yeah, these are absolutely fine. I'll just um, stand back and show you them. So this is the top. They fit absolutely fine. Like I say, I really like that um, big waistband. So that's it for my Primark haul today. I really hope you have enjoyed watching. Please comment below, ask me any questions. Say if you've perhaps picked up any of these items, um, put any video ideas forward, put any questions forward. Um, you know I always like to have a, a chat back and forth with you. And welcome to any new subscribers because I have had a few new subscribers recently. Um, so thank you and um, welcome. And as always, thank you so, so much to all my regular viewers as well. So that's it for today's video. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your evening and I'll see you all soon. Bye.